or was for not. Well, that didn't happen to me, dear. When we landed at San Francisco Airport, they threw garbage and rotten eggs and tomatoes. Oh, and call them baby killers and what have you. Oh, I walk I'm in the back. I didn't see that. I, I really am. Them, and the GIs are ripping their uniforms off and throwing them in the basket. I said, what the hell is going on here? Sarge, these people are nuts, man. They're going to kill us before we even get out of the like, damn uh, airport. That was San Francisco, right? They're not killing nobody. They're I'll a bunch look, of crazies over there. I told him, I said, your mom has been baking turkey dinner since 4 o'clock this morning. She's going to want to see her sonny boy come through that door wearing that uniform so she can bust all the buttons off of that blouse. Now, you're not going to deprive mom of that, are you? And on top of that, you're going to want to take your best girl out to dinner. If you fly full fare in civvies, you ain't going to have no money. When you get home, you ain't going to be able to take your best girl out to dinner. What are you going to do, let Jody take her out to dinner? I don't think so. And on top of that, you're going to want to borrow five bucks from your mom to put gas in your car tomorrow to go get a job. Now, let's get real, boys. We didn't do anything. We did our duty to God and country like our fathers before us and their fathers before them. Now, get them damn uniforms back on. I want them looking real pretty. And give me a line of twos over here because we're going out there. And you got a buddy to your right and a buddy to your left, a buddy to the front and a buddy to the back. If anybody confronts us with any of this ridiculous, we're breaking off in forms of two, four, six, and eight, and we are going to beat their absolute ass. Is that clear? And all of a sudden, I get this loud, sir, yes, sir. I thought that's what I thought you said. Now get with it. I want them uniforms looking real pretty. We went out of that bathroom and out into the main concourse of that San Francisco airport. And as soon as them hippies started talking trash, throwing garbage and what have you, we broke off in teams of two, four, six, and eight, and we beat their absolute ass. There was bodies flying all over those white chairs and those little cans with the little white sand in, and the one copper stood next to the other copper said, now there's something you don't see every day, Michael. He says, I didn't see nothing, Charlie. Did you see something? They shouldn't have known better than mess with them soldier boys. They look mean, especially that big one in the black beret. He looked real mean. He hit that guy so hard he come out of his shoes backwards and did a somersault. No, we ain't messing with them boys. We're letting them go. And that's exactly what they did. I call, I turned back. I t- yelled at the guys, rope guard, recover. And they all got back in line. And we marched straight over to baggage claim, got our bags. This one young black kid, corporal, says to me, he says, you're right, Sergeant. I don't have nothing to be ashamed of. I did my duty to God and country. And I'm going home to my mom in my uniform and heaven help the son of a bitch gets in my face. I'll break their neck. That away. That's the attitude. That's what you got to have. And they went and got their bags. And one old guy walked up to me and said, Sergeant, you're my kind of man. I'd sure like to buy you a steak dinner and welcome you home proper if you got time between flights. I said, well, I think we can arrange something. And that was the guy who welcomed me home. Now, that's how I got welcomed home when I got back to Fort Benning, of course. Oh, Sergeant, we have a problem. We need to have you go down to anger management, you see. But you have a problem with your anger. I says, you're damn right. If you're going to throw garbage on my troopers coming home from battle after three years in the jungle, I'm going to be a little tense. You're right. And when that guy asked me, well, what do you got against hippies? I said, I clearly don't like them. I basically don't like anybody who runs out on their country in their time of need, trashes everything that's decent and proper in Americana, and goes out here and throws garbage on their soldiers who didn't do no more than their job. Their country sent them to war to do this, and they did their duty, and they come home, and they all together... And now for that, they're going to have garbage thrown on them? I think not. That that kind of did piss me off just a tad. Well, that was the last time they let Americans come home directly to an airport. After that, they had to come home to a military installation and go through a week's debriefing to get let to go home because they weren't going to just turn you loose and have this public victimize you the way they did. And I'm telling you, every one of them kids, when they got aboard and got their baggage, they were proud as punch. Why? Because they stood up for what was right and their own good name and their own fine efforts. And and a lot of them were decorated war heroes. I was a decorated war hero. I wasn't putting up with this crap from a bunch of hippies. I'll break their face, and that's just what I did. But then I had to go to anger management, and we had to discuss whether or not I had control and all this stuff. If I'm going to be in a responsible position, I can't be starting riots in San Francisco airport. 